In this lecture, let's try to understand what are the constraints we can apply on generics. So, generic constraints are powerful feature in TypeScript that allows you to define limitations on the types of data that can be used with generic code. Let's try to understand it with an example. So, in the last lecture, when we are trying to use this obj1 and obj2 to merge it using this assign method, first of all, what this assign method is expecting is the first object should be an empty object. So the target object should be an empty object and the source can be any object. So here we can set the type as u. Okay. And the second overload of this assign method, again, it has two parameters target, which is of type object and source, which is of type any. So here you can specify any value. So what we want is we want to tell TypeScript here that this object which we are passing here, it should be the target object. It should not be an empty object. It should be the target object. And this object two also here, it should not be any value. It should also be an object. For that, here when we are specifying t, here we can pass any value for this t, a value of any type to this t. But here we want to make a constraint on this t that this t should always be an object. It cannot be an array or number or string or anything like that. It should be an object. For that, what we do is we use extends keyword and then we specify the type which we want to extend here. So here we want to extend object. Okay. Now here we have the error and the error is because we need to tell that this t extends this object object class when we are specifying the placeholders when we are specifying the generics so instead of specifying it here let me cut it from here we need to specify it here okay and now you see that error is gone and if i save the changes we should not have any errors and everything is working as expected when i'm trying to access this name property on this combined object which this expand method is returning, I'm able to access it. And here we don't have any error. Let's also see how the combined object looks like. So in the combined objects, we have three properties, age, gender, and name. So name property is common in both these objects, which we are passing to this extends method. So this T will be assigned with this object and this U will be assigned with this object. And from there, the common properties will be taken. A new object will be created and that will be returned. And that we are assigning to this combined variable. If I hover over this expand, you will see that it is returning us an intersection of T and U, right? It is returning us an intersection of this object and this object. All right. Now here we have one more problem. And the problem is here we have set that this t extends object so for this t we can only pass an object we cannot pass any other value like number string anything like that so for example if i try to pass 100 here we should immediately get this error okay number is not assignable to type parameter object so here we are immediately getting the error but here if i try to pass a number or a string value as the second argument there we are not getting any error that's because to this u, we can pass a value of any data type, right? Here, we are not telling that this u should only be accepting objects. Here, it can accept any value. And now if I save the changes, you see we have an object where we have only age and name property because this 100, it is not an object. So this assign method is not going to complain about it because the source can be any value. Okay, so it can be number, it can be string, anything. So it is not complaining about that. And here also, since we have specified the type of obj2 as u, for this u, we can pass a value of any data type. But here also what I want is, I want to extend this u to only take objects. For that, just like what we did for t, we are also going to do for u. So this u also should extends object. And now we can only pass objects to this t and u. So here we are basically setting a constraint on these two generic types that these two generic types should only accept object values. It should not accept a value of any other type. Okay, just like object, we can also use numbers, strings, etc. for setting the constraint. But in this scenario, we wanted to set the constraint as object for T and U. So I hope you got the concept of generic constraints. 
if you have any questions then feel free to ask it this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day